Hi, I'm Cheryl Rowling, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Ontario, Canada. Thank you for joining me today. Don't worry about sizes or supplies for this card as they are attached to this video. If you enjoy watching this video, could you please like and share as this helps me grow my channel. And if you could leave a comment, that would be wonderful as I love to see where you're watching from or what you think of the card. If you aren't already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and hit notifications so you will know when I post a new video. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you out. My contact information is attached. This is the card we're going to be making today. It's a Father's Day card for my son-in-laws. Well, one's for my son and that one's for one son-in-law and this is for another son-in-law. So it's exactly the same card, same layout, only this is um, vertical and this is horizontal. So that this needed the length, whereas this needed the width. So I'm going to show you how to do this card today, but this card is just the same, only changed up. So my desk is falling apart. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Whoa. So we're going to start with, um, no, this one. This is light basic black and I'm doing daddy's hair with that because both of my son-in-laws have very dark hair. Then I'm taking SU-1000 and I'm doing the skin. I'm not taking the time to do any blending. I'm just doing it straight because I don't want to waste your time with that. Just like that. Now Put those aside so I don't get them mixed up again. This is um, light granny, light granny apple green. Yes, light granny apple green, and I'm doing the boy's shirt. This is going to be Dominic. Although he's not quite this old yet, but he will be going fishing with his daddy at some point in time. Now this is dark old olive and we're going to do the jeans. So he's going to have green jeans or green pants. Now, this is going to be Safira, and she's going to have a pink top because she wears a lot of pink. She loves pink, as does her mommy and her mama. So just like that, that's easy peasy. And this is dark bubble bath. Now I'm taking my dark melon mambo and I'm going to do her pants. 
there. Easy peasy. And this is Light Night of Navy. Navy, and this is going to be for Daddy's blue jeans. See, it honestly doesn't take very long. I figured I'm going to have to show you how to do one, so I might just as well show you on this one because um, on the others, the one inside and the one on the front of the envelope I have them done already so you don't have to watch me do those but they don't have everything on them so I figured I might just as well do this one because it has everything on it that you will need to do So how is everybody doing today? We have been very busy in this household. We are just a cruising along doing stuff. This is Light Daffodil Delight for blonde hair. And then I'm going to, should have done this first. This is Light Crumb Cake. Just needs some depth to it. This is a SU five hundred, and that's going to be for Safira's hair. Now the only thing left I have to do is, <clears throat> this is dark crumb cake. And this, I used dark crumb cake on his hair. That's why it's not looking as good as the other one did. Oh well. This is light crumb cake and it's getting low. So I need my other one. I have one. Just have to find it. my crumb cake. That's crazy. <laughs> that took forever. So, what I'm going to do is find my stamp set. Nope. There it is. I put everything in my stamp set. This is beside me. I'm Every stamp I'm using is from this stamp set. I used Celebrate You Today and Happy Father's Day. Then I used this one could have used that one but I didn't and use that one on the other card now I have to I cut this mask out so that I can color around it and I decided where my horizon is going to be and then I just colored it in 
with dark balmy blue? No. I think, did I do light? Maybe not. Dark balmy blue it is. And if you mask it, it it won't get on the um, dock or around them. Then I take that off, and then I've got a straight line for horizon. Now what I'm going to do is, whoops, I thought it was the other way around. I am going to take my cloud design and I am going to use my blending brush and then you always start off there off the side so that you never get a you don't get a clump or uh, scratches of color this is balmy blue it's fairly light, but it still can give you globs if you're not careful. Uh, the darker colors are more apt to give you blobs. See, I moved it over a little bit so that the clouds don't look the same in the next row. And then I'll move it back. And there we go. I've got it. And see, now I didn't get to the kids or daddy. I didn't color them in at all because I had the mask on. Isn't that nice? It just does such a nice job when you take that extra time to do the mask. And now I put it back. I keep them in my case so that I next time I have it and I don't have to worry worry about it now I have my string cut there it is now what I have to glue this first See how ugly that looks on the back. <laughs> That's why when you're doing envelopes, you make sure that you've got something inside the envelope to stop that uh, uh, bleeding from getting onto the back of the envelope. See, nothing on the back. Now I'm taking this, I believe it's 16 inches long. And I'm going to start there. Whoops, a little close to the edge. And now what I'm going to do is tie it. You can tie it wherever you want, but I like it up a little bit higher. I don't want it, for me personally, I don't want it in the middle of the card. 
I want it. Oh, come on, Cheryl. There. Put my finger on it. I didn't put my finger down before, I guess. go. Now what I'm going to do is stretch this out and I can move it up higher just by doing that and I can move it down a little bit. See I like it up there because it doesn't interfere with the what I've colored. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut it off. Although, yeah, got to find my good scissors. Got to find my material scissors. <laughs> Now, I am going to take my black marker, and this is where you could use these birds, but I actually wanted to do birds around, and I only wanted to do a few. So, it's just easier if you... I take a marker and just do um, the middle of an M, basically. See? Isn't that pretty? Okay. And this one I'm going to change up a bit. How do you like my Stampin' Up! cup? I use it all the time. I'm going to use my uh, Wicca Stella and I'm going to make the water sparkle. Isn't that cool? Oh, I've got to mix, uh, put some more on. Hold on. Uh, here we are. Yep. Right in here has to be, have water. And right in there. Don't forget your water in between them. I thought about it when I, before I took the mask off and then I proceeded to forget. <laughs> oh, smart one, Cheryl. There we go. Now, what we're going to do is take our dimensionals and we're going to put dimensionals in the middle and then we're going to put them at this end and then we're going to put them in here and I've got my Pokey tool. Whoops, missed that one. So much easier. Now, this one's going down here, and it's going down a little bit more than up here because I have a happy Father's Day that needs to go on here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue go 
and now we are going to put this I've already got it the back done, or the inside done so you don't have to watch me do that too oh I didn't attach that well that was smart although it doesn't matter I can attach it afterwards it's just easier if I attach it well not easier I guess it's about the same there we go this on the front there we go now I am going to take my classic matte dots yep can't get them out there we go Okay, I've got glue. I think I have my, yep, there we go. I'm going to put my white matte dots. I did the, um, I used the metal plate 3d embossing folder it's kind of cool it's very masculine looking and it's looks like a metal um something that a man would use <laughs> So it's perfect for this card, right? Honestly, I d don't know. It looks kind of like a grate. It's it's cool. And then I'm going to take my small black ones and I'm going to do them here because white wouldn't show up on the white but the white shows up very nicely on the blue so what do you think what do you think of my father's day card there there's the other one and see exact same well this is so you can read it because um, it has to go the width wise because of the words the stamp is wider than it is tall so what do you think I think my son-in-laws will be very happy with their cards because Tay loves to fish and he takes Safira all the time and as soon as Dominic gets old enough he'll be taking them and Dave taught his boys to, to uh, bicycle. Actually, I think he's learning. He's, I don't know if Wesley's learned yet or not, but he was instrumental in Jacob riding. So if you like this, please give me a like, share, comment. Uh, let me know where you're watching from. I love to hear that. Um, yeah, just have a wonderful day. Uh, enjoy, have a wonderful Father's Day when it comes up. I know it's just a little ways away yet, but I wanted to get this prepared because we're having a family get together this weekend and we're doing father, celebrating birthdays and Father's Day and a whole bunch of stuff. So I wanted these cards done ahead and now I've got them. So I'm happy and um, yeah. So just have, have a wonderful weekend. Uh, enjoy the sun, the warmth out there. I'm sitting downstairs and I'm almost freezing. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to go outside and get warm. But you have a wonderful week and I will talk to you later. Bye now.